it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. Today, Julie has some colorful and fun classic Disney princess nail art designs for you. Hey, it's Julie. Now let's jump right on into the video. Before we get started with the nail art, you want to begin with a base coat to make sure your natural nails are protected and ready for polish. First up, we'll be doing a design inspired by Cinderella. For this, you're going to need a cobalt blue shade of polish for her dress. Using the brush straight from the bottle, I used the bristles to create a heart shape sort of around the cuticle area, and then I filled in the rest of the nail. And because princesses and glitter go hand in hand, I'm going to pop on a glitter top coat over this. For all of the extra details, I'm going to be using an assortment of acrylic paint and a detail brush. First, I mixed up a medium shade of blue and I painted a half circle over the free edge of my nail for the bottom layer of Cinderella's dress. And then I did two half circles on the sides of my nails for her sleeves. And to add a little extra detail, I did a stripe right down the center. And to create the outer layer of her skirt, I used a light blue and I painted that over top of the medium blue half circle. You'll see here the color that I originally used wasn't quite right, so I am gonna go back in and adjust that so it's a little more accurate. I finished by adding a black necklace detail around the moon area of my nail, then seal that in with top coat to make it extra shiny, and there you have a Cinderella inspired nail design. Next up, we'll be doing a Little Mermaid inspired design. For this, I'm starting with a turquoise shade of nail polish and I'm creating a V shape on the bottom half of my nail and filling that in. This is going to represent her tail. Then with purple nail polish and a synthetic detail brush, I'm going to add her shell bikini top. And to make this easier, I first added a dot to the center point of my nail and then I created sort of like an X over top of that and then I rounded out the edges and filled that shape in. And next, I'm going to be adding a layer of that glitter polish. Then with white acrylic paint on that fine detail brush, I'm going to create some scales on her tail. To do this, create some scallops or U shapes, and I like to stagger the rows of scales so that they're in between each other. I think that looks a little more seamless. And while I still had white paint on my brush, I added some detail to her shell bikini top. And to finish off Ariel's look, I outlined her tail in a darker shade of green blue, just to add definition. I finished with top coat, and before the top coat dried, I popped on a little tiny pearl 3D decor right in the center of her shell bikini top. Next, I'll show you how to do a bell inspired design. For this, I'm going to be using a bright yellow polish, and I'm going to be painting three quarters of my nail, filling the entire nail in, but leaving that little space up near my cuticle bare. And once that dried, I popped on a layer of glitter top coat. For the detail on Belle's dress, I'm first going to be using a light pale yellow and creating a big bow right on the top. With that same yellow, I added some ruffles around the free edge of my nail. To define the bow and dress, I mixed up a little bit darker of a yellow shade and I added some lines to the bow and then a stripe on top of the ruffles. Once the acrylic paint dried, I added a nice generous layer of glossy top coat and then I popped on a red rhinestone right in the center of the bow to represent a rose. And doesn't this look so cute? I just think it screams bell and it's just so pretty. Next, we're moving on to Sleeping Beauty. And for this, you're going to need a bubblegum shade of pink polish. And we're gonna do the same thing with this now that we did with the last one. And that's paint just about three quarters of it. For Sleeping Beauty's dress, I'm first going to start with some zigzags on the lower part of her dress, just like she has. My nails aren't quite long enough to get the full zigzag triangle in, but that's totally okay, just fit what you can. And don't worry if you don't get your zigzags perfectly even, you can go back in with that base pink color and touch up the shape, which is exactly what I did. Then I'm going to add some lines and curves down the bodice of her dress to kind of represent the corset style 
that she had going on. And then with white paint, I'm going to create two little ruffles. And these are going to be kind of like the off the shoulder sleeves she had on her dress. And then I'm going to fill that in. To finish the Sleeping Beauty nail, I'm going to use yellow acrylic paint to create her signature necklace. Finish with top coat and you're set. And lastly, we'll be doing a Snow White inspired design and for this I'm using that yellow nail polish again to create the skirt of her dress. And then with a detail brush and that cobalt blue polish, I created a heart on top of the yellow tip. Then with a medium shade of blue paint, I'm going to create her sleeves. And to do this, I'm creating little half circles slash teardrop shapes. And then again, I'm gonna add a line down the center of the bodice of her dress for detail. And then I'm gonna use a pale yellow to add some lines to her skirt just to make it look like it is pillowing out. And the last detail are two little red teardrop shapes inside the sleeves for Snow White's signature look. Finish with a nice generous layer of clear top coat to seal in your design and add a gorgeous shine. And there you have five nail designs inspired by the Disney princesses. If you'd like to watch more cute polish videos, you can click on these boxes here and click on the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. If you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on the circle here. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.